Yo, what up? This is Jay Spoon. I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible. This is a video response to my own video. Get towards all the people who still hate me because they think I hate myself. And let's see how much sense this makes. I'm trying to make a quick little reference here. If you believe in a man upstairs, you believe in God. God loves everybody. And we're supposed to be following after God. So if I love everybody, then what the, how does that make me wrong? I'm just trying to do what God wants me to do. Most black people believe in God. Some have the, the Muslim type of deal going on there. Whatever you want to do. But I'm going to be like God, and I'm going to love everybody. And if you're going to hate me for loving everybody else, then I think something's wrong with you. Anyway, I stand by the thing that I said to you, Queen Dan, for instance, that I generalize black women because of this. And because of this, this happens. Black dude goes to the club, he buys the black girl plenty of drinks, and then, and then he expects black girls to go home with him. But black girl doesn't want to go home because she doesn't feel like buying it. him buying him her drinks is reason enough for her to go home and... Which is not in my personal opinion. So by the time I go up to her, she already got her defenses up, and then she got a homegirl here in the background, and that in the background, both hating on me. So there goes the strong will. But that strong will is not a bad thing because I think that it helps black women become very strong women in this country. I mean, the strong, richest woman in the world is a black woman, Oprah. So I mean, you get people stuff like that happening. It doesn't happen based off of just people just let people run them over, and that's what I feel. But you do what you want to do. You hate me for loving everybody else. That just makes no sense at all. Um, and then let me tell you one thing that you didn't have happen to you, but yet you're trying to take credit for it, and then call me a self-hating black man. You didn't get chased by dogs. You didn't get beat by police. You didn't get sprayed by water hoses. You didn't have to eat in segregated restaurants and sit by different water fountains. None of that stuff happened to you, but you want white people to walk on eggshells around you as if they owe you something. Nah, you owe it to yourself to be a better person. You don't, They don't owe you anything like that. These people were born in this day and age and had nothing to do with what happened back in those days, but yet you want to have make, make them out to be the bad people. If we never were slaves, if we never were oppressed, we would have nothing else to argue about other than the fact that skin color. That's it. That's all. That's the only difference we are is skin color. But yet you want me to say I hate myself because I love somebody else. Does that even make sense? That's an oxymoron. I got enough arguing with you. It's like two minutes of this video. I'm done.